With me here is uh, Bridget Kendall, our diplomatic correspondent. And just to pick up on Frank's final point there, Bridget, can we expect the response to this tragedy to be rather more uh, far-reaching than the responses in the past? Well, clearly, Hugh, first thing to say is this is an appalling tragedy for all these people who thought this was going to be the religious high point of their life. And as Frank has said, it has happened before, so you have to ask yourself what might change. It's clear that the Saudis are very sensitive about it. They had a press conference today. King Salman, as Frank said, has ordered a, re a review into how the Hajj is organised, an investigation into what happened. But more clearly needs to be done. And, and this is difficult in a country where there is a, an entrenched ruling royal family, where change happens slowly, where pressure from citizens and consumers doesn't happen in the same way that it would as in a Western-style democracy. I think tonight, though, what is particularly striking is the blunt criticism that has come from a across the Gulf from Saudi Arabia's Shia rival from Iran. The supreme leader, Ayatollah Khomeini, is openly accusing the Saudi government of being responsible, saying this is mismanagement, improper action, they're the ones who have to take the blame for this tragedy. You have to say, will that help? Clearly it politicises this, it shows the hostility between these two nations, but will it make the Saudi government react in a positive way? It could have the opposite effect, it could make them more defensive. Bridget, again, thanks very much. Bridget Kendall there.